better at sex, better with a condom. This is about the times when the condom wasn't used, the times when it was avoided, which is sometimes understandable. Many people see it as an unwelcome interruption and are concerned about losing their erection putting it on. It happens to most people from time to time, so it can help to refine your technique. To keep the hot feeling of the moment going, sit close to each other and feel the body heat. Get your partner to stroke the inside of your thigh or your nipple. Let the condom become part of the sex. It declares, I'm going to have sex now. If you don't want to feel watched, your partner can sit close up behind you and kiss your neck. And if it is an interruption, embrace it. Sometimes there's a bit too much focus on the penis. It goes up and it goes down. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing. Slow things down until you feel horny and hard again, before putting on the condom. After a night out, or if you've had a few drinks, it's common for the penis to feel less sensitive. And then you're going to put a condom on that. Maybe not ideal. But sex is not the same as intercourse or penetrative sex. There are all kinds of great sex options where the condom is not as important. Suck, lick or rub your genitals against each other. Let your partner stroke you to orgasm. Enjoy what your partner enjoys. Sometimes the pleasure can be greater if you save the sex until the morning, when the alcohol has left your body. Many like the feeling of doing things that break the rules. This might be one of the reasons for not using a condom. You're horny and want to have fun and take risks. But here's the thing. With a condom, you can actually be even more adventurous. There's no worry about sleeping with someone new. You can have sex with more than one person in a place you haven't tried before. You can experiment more, if you want. Someone who's relaxed, experienced and enjoys different kinds of sex tends to be more likely to take out a condom. Stopping using a condom can feel like taking a next step in your relationship, like some sort of proof of intimacy and trust, proof that you've chosen your partner, even if you don't know that much about their sex life. It can feel lovely and romantic, but who do you want to be with? Maybe someone who's considerate, experienced, adult, self-confident and responsible. Studies show that this is exactly how a person who takes out a condom is seen. If your partner has to force the issue, that can interrupt the flow. Exactly what you don't want. When boys and girls have sex, it's often like there are two sides to it horniness and responsibility. The boy should be horny and the girl responsible. This is a poor split. If the person who's going to wear the condom takes responsibility, that leaves greater space for both to act out their desires. And that is the key. Mutual arousal. Good sex is a dance with steps for both partners and loving the condom is a way of being more confident about sex.